I swear, if you say one word, you Leonard Skinner, I'm gonna. You know what I'm talking about? It just <laughs> yeah. sounds like. Derogative. I don't know. I never, I never thought about it like that. They say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting and thinking like who knew I know that you've seen us on rappers react They talking about us on YouTube Hollywood sticks it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React Smoke, yeah Diggity, yeah Dog what up? That was Grease, wasn't it? Hand job, yeah. What? Hand job. That was the oh, move called. I heard something totally. Well, however it went. <laughs> it was something like that, but I heard something <laughs> different, dude. I got some trivia for you here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, who won the first Nobel Peace Prize? Or who won the first Nobel Prize for medicine? There's mm. no way you're going to. If you get this, I swear to God. Is it the creator of penicillin? No, it's Emil Adolf von Behring. No, I wouldn't have got that one. I wonder if that's where what my did mom... What he create? I don't know. I wonder if that's where my mom got my name, though. Mm. I don't know. What more... All right, how about this? What moisturizer is derived from sheep's wool? <laughs> There's no way you're getting... From sheep's wool? Yeah, you'll never get any of these. Oh, no. Uh, let me see if I can get one. Not cocoa butter. No, it's called lanol lanolin. Lanolin? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that came from sheep's wool, though. All right, let me give you one more. Uh, all right, during what war was the novel Catch-22 set? World War One, World War Two, or World War Three? <laughs> well, World War Three hasn't happened yet. I'm going with two. You were correct, my friend. You were correct. Okay. Um, so you know the band that we're doing. So I feel like once you get the first word, you're gonna know this, and I don't think uh, I even need to say it. What is it? You know the band we're doing, right? Uh, yeah, Leonard Skinner. Is it Freebird? You got it, my All friend. Right. And guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. And guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sight. Leave us a comment. And tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos that come directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today, Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Dude, what if that's actually how they meant to pronounce their name? <laughs> Leonard. Our name is Leonard Skinner. Well, I don't know yeah. why people keep calling us Leonard Skinner. I don't think we've ever explained why we say that with Leonard and Leonard. Tell them why. Well, because uh, there's a football player, a running back. He is with Tampa Bay right now called Leonard Fournette. He happens to have a brother who, I don't know, I don't think he ever made it to the NFL. He was playing for LSU and then he transferred. But Leonard has a brother named Leonard. Leonard. Yes. <laughs> what the heck? Is it spelled differently? <laughs> yes, it is like L A apostrophe N A R D. Man, come on with all that, bro. So you got Leonard and, and Leonard. Leonard. Yes. Ah, but remember, I, okay. First, we'll get to the song here in a minute. But I, I, I know I brought this up on a previous reaction. I always thought, I just felt like I was doing something or saying something bad when I said the name Leonard, Leonard Skinner. Skinner. It sounds like a derogatory term. I swear, if you say one word, you Leonard Skinner, I'm gonna. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? It just yeah. sounds like derogatory. I don't know. I never, I never thought about it like that. But I guess it, uh, it kind of has a sharp edge to it. Yeah. Leonard, Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth, you Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Let's make that a new, a new word. Dang it. That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no. Eventually they'll, they'll take that away too. I'm somehow. sure. But Freebird, we know this song. Yeah. This one's actually live smoking. Ooh, nice. Have you ever seen this live? No. No, I know of the song, of course. You know, it's an old blues, yes. bluesy uh, southern rock ballad. So we can all... Do you know what the song's about? Uh, we all we know this song, but do you know what it's about? Mm, I think it's about him leaving a girl, right? I don't know, but we can make not only this a lyrical analysis... Yeah. But we also get to see Leonard Skinner perform this live. Absolutely. Can you name another song by Leonard Skinner? Name two more songs by Leonard Skinner. Uh, there was a song called Tuesday's Gone. Okay. Give me one more. And, uh, well, everybody knows. Don't, 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 sweet home I, that's Alabama. That's Leonard Yes. See, I feel like I can't even say that on YouTube. That's Leonard. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Leonard. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know, the 
uh, with this song Freebird, you know, the image that I have in my head, it, I can't remember if it was House of a Thousand Corpses or Devil's Rejects. When they were at the very end, you know, they had... They oh, had, um, that was the Almond Brothers, right? No, it was Freebird. They play, no. Yeah, I'm pr- come on, don't don't tell what me. What was that? I got one more no. silver dollar, and I'm not gone. Let them catch me, no. I'm telling you, it was Freebird at the end of. I'm tell- they played that in. Um, I, maybe they did play Freebird also, but I know they played uh, Midnight Rider in there also when they're driving in the car. That's what I'm thinking of at the end of the movie. I'm telling you, it was Leonard. No, Smith. I think it's the beginning of the movie when they play. Trash talk is lettuce. Yeah, uh, but yeah, maybe they played Freebird also at the end. Smoked out. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. I love 
that thing.
Let's hear it for them. Wow. Where's the porta pot? Where did Man, that band's so good to pick up from standing. San Francisco. <laughs> Look at Pass that, bro. Pass that, pass that. God yeah, dang, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Goodness gracious. I think this shows what can happen when you are in that zone, when you are in the flow state, and that crowd is just feeding you. Man, they did, they went to like level 10 on that one. I mean... There's you, levels to this shit. And man. they showed that. They <laughs> yeah. Show, you, you've experienced that. You know, oh, the flow state? I, oh I, God, I've, yes. I've experienced... I mean, you can experience the flow state with anything. Yeah. But I haven't been on stage with and performed in, in front of as many people as you have yeah. now i know energy. you probably can feel this yeah you know what i mean like people yeah. just giving you that and yeah. you're just like mm. that's what it is like this energy is just in the air when there's that many people and they are all into it and you can feel that energy like radiating <sighs> in and you're trying to give it back to them at that same level it's like who's it it's like yes. uh, uh, who's it's going? something who's magical going? man that happens it's such an amazing feeling that if you could sell it as a drug, you would make uh, billions, 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 yes. trillions. God, <sighs> damn, my fingers hurt just watching that. Though. Dude, th- all right, that was a football stadium. Yes, that was a coliseum, Jesus. damn near. Yeah. So, all right, when they're strumming, that the strings are metal, right? Yeah. I mean, at some point, your fingers to break them, <laughs> or you would have to like. Yeah. Oh, imagine the bass player, those big strings that he's just how are your thumping fingers, away like, on. I don't get how Well, they're using picks, but... Oh, God. But, I mean, they are using the frets with their fingers, like... And they were just going, like... God <laughs> almighty, dude. <laughs> yeah. They get calloused after a while, though. That's what the guitar players say, you know? Huh. They get the calluses, and after a while, you don't really notice it. After watching this, you know, and after all the live performances that we've done, I'd say this have to be top three of the best we've Dude, ever seen. It is. This was crazy. Wow. Crazy. Wow. And I don't even think we need to break down the lyrics because, first of all, it, it, it for me it was impossible. We know the song. <laughs> yeah. But it was yeah. impossible watching this crowd, this energy, this band up there killing it. And Leonard yeah. Skinner, look, say what you must about them. Yes, they have some some um, symbolism that isn't accepted in today's time. Yeah. But it was a different time. Yes. That's all you can say for that is that it was a different time. Yes. But and I want to say, I mean, I, they've worked with black artists before. Well, yeah, you know? but yeah. they we have to give them their flowers, and these yeah. guys are freaking legends. Now, I do want to say that you asked if they were still touring. Mm-hmm. I think a 
form of the band still tours, but a lot of those guys died in a plane crash. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, Lord. We need to look that up. Oh, Lord. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. What members of Leonard Skinner died in a plane crash? I think it's a plane crash. According to WPTV, the crash took the lives of lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist Steve Gaines, and backup wow, singer three. Cassie Gaines. Leonard lead Skinner, singer. lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, urges on guitarist Steve Gaines during a July 20th, 1977 wow. performance at Convention Hall in Asbury Park, wow. New Jersey. Wow, so three, the guitarist, yes. the lead singer, and the backup singer. Yep. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, so, I mean, obviously, there, there's some different members these days, but I want to say they, at least as of a decade ago, they were still doing music. I mean, but I'm sure there's someone that's keeping the Leonard Skinner name going, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> no need to break down this song because we, yeah, we know what this yeah, is about. Yeah. But to the trash talkers who have suggested this, we see why. Because mm -hmm. this was a a feat in the... Yeah, that was an epic performance, man. Man, I, I just want to go, man. Just let me go. I just yeah, want to go. Absolutely. <sighs> to the trash talkers and to everyone who have suggested that we check out Leonard Skinner Freebird Live, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And let us know what's next by Leonard... Let us know what's next by Leonard Skinner yes. down in the comment section. My mind is still blown. <laughs> and with that being said, my name is Baron Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.